the body is capable of two major types of immune response to an infection. The production of antibodies, illustrated here on the left, and cell-mediated response on the right. With antibody production, a B cell presents antigen to a Th2 cell. This triggers the release of cytokines including interleukin-4, interleukin-10, and interleukin-13. The B cell then divides and differentiates into plasma cells producing antibody. With cell-mediated response, a macrophage internalizes material and interacts with a Th1 cell, which causes the production of cytokines, including interferon gamma, by the Th1 cell. This is capable of activating the macrophage and inducing MHC class II molecules on its surface. When an antibody response takes place, interleukin-10 produced by the Th2 cell will prevent Th1 cells from producing interferon gamma, effectively suppressing the cell-mediated response. If a cell-mediated response occurs, the interferon gamma, which activates the macrophage, also inhibits proliferation of the Th2 cell thus suppressing the antibody response. IFN gamma also acts on B cells to modulate antibody class switching. The immune system therefore goes into one mode of response or the other. Another layer of activity which affects the type of response which predominates is the production of interleukin-13 cytokines by the Th2 cell in an antibody response. This blocks the production of interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor, which are the prime effector cytokines of the macrophages. It also promotes B cell proliferation. With the cell mediated response, the production of interleukin 12 by macrophages tends to promote differentiation of T cells into its pathway, loading up more cells which can reinforce this aspect of the response.